Oh, hi there. Welcome to the Legally Blind Geek YouTube channel. Our focus is overcome low vision challenges. Sorry you caught me with a mouthful of popcorn. One of my favorite snacks is popcorn. The quickest and easiest way to make popcorn for me, as a visually impaired person, I'm legally blind, is using my talking microwave. So, with the, you know, microwave popcorn you buy at the store, in my talking microwave, I've got a nice fresh hot batch of popcorn in two minutes or less. Does that sound something that you might be interested in? Stick around, we got some more information to share with you as well. Oh, towards the end of the uh, video, we're going to be t eating some of this tasty popcorn that we have put together a homemade honey butter drizzle to drizzle over it to kind of satisfy that sweet tooth. My wife and the girls really enjoy this. And then we've got another one for the for the guys, the boys that like to sit around and watch football and stuff like that, which is a, it's a buffalo style, a buffalo sauce style butter drizzle to put over your popcorn. Those pieces are down in the description, so make sure and check those out. And uh, hey, if you want to figure out and learn something about microwave popcorn, stick around. We got some information to share. Tasty. One look. Tasty. I promise. Okay, before we get started, let's go through a list of items that you're going to need to make your own delicious microwave popcorn. Obviously, you're going to need a, a microwave. For me, I use a Magic Chef talking microwave. That works really well for anyone with a visual impairment. But the instructions for popping corn are the same, whether it's a traditional non-speaking microwave or the talking microwave. So once you get a microwave, you'll need a bag of popcorn. The quickest and easiest thing to do is go to the store and buy the stuff that's already packaged so that you can just throw it in, set it, and basically turn the machine on, microwave it, pop it, and forget it. In addition to that, we're going to share with you some of our family recipes that are a big hit, a, a honey butter and a, a spicy Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce drizzle that you can use on your popcorn that makes it really tasty. We'll cover that later on. In okay, step one, popping popcorn in a talking microwave is really pretty simple. First thing we're going to need is our microwave and a bag of popcorn. So let's just take and open the popcorn here real quick. And then we have learned that the instructions on boxes of microwave popcorn and microwave ovens vary as far as the cooking time. We have a bag here that in the instructions it says pop it for two and a half minutes. Well, two and a half minutes will burn the popcorn. So the magic number that we have discovered is minimum one minute 45 seconds maximum two minutes. So the way we set that up and pop it in the talking microwave is we hit this button. Cook time not set, set, cook time, minute. Tells us that the popcorn needs to be set, the cook time needs to be set for the popcorn. One minute is right here. One minute. And we're going to set it for 45 seconds to do that. We're going to select seconds. Set, cook time, second, one, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty, going to hold that button down until it says 45 seconds. Then we're going to go over here. Time, one minute, four T, five seconds. Just to check, we're on one minute, 45 seconds. We're going to hit this next button. Power level, high, one minute, four T, five seconds. Microwave running. And it tells us that we have the cook time set at one minute, 45 seconds. The heat is at high. And this is... I'm not sure if this is a 1200 watt machine as advertised or not, but in a minute and 45 seconds, the popcorn will, will be popped. And the thing to look out for when you're using the microwave to pop your popping corn, everybody's heard this, is you just listen for the popcorn to start popping. 
and they'll start popping really quickly and then it'll start to slow down a bit and what we have discovered and what many people talk about online is you know once the popcorn has started slowing down and you can go 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005 between kernels popping as you can hear them popping And when the popcorn reaches the end of its cycle on this talking microwave, there'll be a tone and it'll stop popping automatically. Now you hear it slowing down. 1001, 1000. 1001, 1000. Now, good habit is go ahead and take your microwave popcorn out of the microwave, set it down and let it set for a bit so all the steam kind of dissipates out of the popcorn bag so that you don't get burnt. Okay, the next step to boosting the flavor to any, you know, generic microwave popping corn. You, know, you can get stuff with a reduced salt. You can get the stuff with extra butter. Whatever you like to use is fine. What we're going to put together now is a uh, a butter sauce that you can use to to drizzle over your popcorn and make it taste much better. One thing in common to both these sauces, the honey butter and the Jack's Red Hot Sauce butter, we're going to start with a real butter and in the uh, recipe in the description down below you can check that out. It says use you know one stick half a cup of butter well you can adjust that if you like that much butter that's about the most that I would put on there because to be quite honest with you with most microwave popping corn bags you know the three ounce three and a half ounce or whatever it is in that area if you put a whole stick of butter on it it's really buttery it's it's kind of like movie theater popcorn with the extra butter some folks like that so that's why I make the recipe this way and um, you can always control how much you pour over your popcorn once it's all done. So we started out with a pure salted butter. Now what pure salted butter is, Lord only knows, but that's what's on the package. So what we're going to do is I slice it up, brought it to room temperature, I sliced it up in about tablespoon portions, put it in the uh, Pyrex two cup measuring cup, which is my favorite, because um, one, it's microwave safe that's always a good thing and two it's it's easy to control it's easy to handle and it's easy to pour out of so once you got the butter cut up and you got it in your in your bowl or your, your bowl or your microwave safe cup we're going to put it in the microwave on high we're going to cook it for one minute And while the microwave's running and melting the butter, we can select either our honey, if we want to do the sweet honey butter, or we can select the Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce, if that's the flavor profile we want to go for. Either of these work really well for my family. They all, you know, the ones that like hot and spicy, like the buffalo sauce that we make with butter and the Frank's Red Hot Sauce. And the folks that had the sweet tooth, which are mostly the girls, they really enjoyed the honey and the butter. And um, once the butter's, butter's melted, we'll go ahead and we'll drizzle some of the hot sauce or some of the honey into the butter mixture. And I, and I guess if you wanted to, you can mix the two. I tried it, not really crazy about it, but you might. But uh, the, the secret to this is it calls for like a equal measures of butter and either honey, butter, and the hot sauce. Again, that's something that you can kind of play around with. If you like it really sweet, you can put that much honey in it. If you don't like it really sweet, I mean the honey flavor, just put a little bit in it just to taste or just to you know add a little different profile taste to your butter will work fine. 
you can play with that if you want to. Now see, this is what the butter looks like when it comes out. I can mix it around a little, a little bit. And then I might just be really crazy. And uh, I'll put some honey in it. Just take the honey. And put some honey in there until it changes the color. And you'll be able to see it. it'll get that honey look as you get it to mix in and I have found especially with the honey heating, heating the butter cooking the butter first and putting the honey in it is is the right way to go and it doesn't doesn't make the honey a little bit funny sometimes depends on the honey that you get it might actually start to cook it make it kind of get like a little little crystally little crystals in it so uh, there you go that's the tips, secrets, and the easy way to make a honey butter drizzle or a Frank's Red Hot Hot Sauce Buffalo style drizzle to bump up that flavor on that popcorn. Hey, like what you see? Give us a thumbs up. Not so happy with what you see? Thumbs down. Either way, at least I know you're out there. I get an idea of what I'm doing right, what I'm not doing right. Use the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about these two popcorn recipes that we did in the microwave oven. And if you've got some suggestions that you'd like to make, or maybe you've got a favorite recipe that you'd like to share, please comment section down below. Make sure you do that for me. Also, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We love to have subscribers. That way you can keep up on all that's going on on the channel. You know, somebody posts a comment asking a question or post a comment, give them a suggestion, you can be part of that. Subscribe, like, share it. If you got somebody that you know might enjoy this, go ahead and share it. We'd appreciate that. Oh, in addition to this, before you get away from here, I want you to know that down in the description box, we also have some affiliate links or Amazon links. And if you click on those and buy something, we'll make a little, little money, you know, a few pennies for the channel, which helps out. And in those links, we're showing you some uh, items that we use that if I didn't like it, I wouldn't suggest it. One is the Magic Chef Toffee Microwave for anybody that's visually impaired that would like to have a Toffee Microwave oven. Two is our favorite Pantry Stuffer Orville Redenbacher's Microwave Popping Corn. It's really good. Can't always find it at the big box stores, but I can always find it on Amazon. So that's normally where we buy it from. You get a big box of 36 envelopes or whatever, and that's enough to get us through the month. Generally, unless the kids are home and they're hungry. And um, some other goodies that you might find useful. So, hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for sharing, liking, and subscribing. We'll catch you in the next video. Make it a great day. Bye. Uh, I'm going to have some more popcorn. Tasty. This is what it looks like with the honey butter. If we had the buffalo sauce on here, it'd have kind of like a little red tint. Although I can't see the red, the kids tell me they can tell the difference. Thanks.